So, I use Velcro a lot at work, and uh, we buy them by these rolls that are uh, about three quarters of an inch thick, and uh, I really like it, um, but someone has recently let me try some much thinner Velcro, and it works really well. I like the way that it um, wraps around small cables, and uh, just it feels better to work with. So, I want to have thinner Velcro, but the thinner Velcro was twice as expensive or more than the thicker Velcro. So obvious, let's just cut this roll of Velcro in half. Um, I do not have the time for that. So here's what I did. This is my uh, Velcro splitter. It's basically two pieces of PVC pipe and they are um, secured together with some nuts and bolts with a washer in between just to space it enough for the Velcro to fit through. And unfortunately, the hacksaw that I was using and uh, my more so my skill at using said hacksaw on PVC was not up to par and I cut too much of an angle and the end result is two different sizes of Velcro. So, really thick Velcro comes in here goes through awesome little machine and when you pull it out come two different strips of velcro and when you get to the roll and you pull it the roll just keeps on rolling and uh, the blade just keeps slicing through and this was um, a pretty uh, simple fix and in just a little bit you go from having one thick roll of Velcro to having two thin rolls. So my next model hopefully will be a little more even and um, a little bit safer to use. But either way, it worked out great and now I get the fun of turning all this mess into a couple of thinner rolls. So I thought I would share because um, this is the first and thinnest of the rolls, and it turned out great, so I was going to show you how I did that. I basically cut a notch in a dowel rod and attached it to my drill. So now, all I have to do is hold it up against a flat surface, and uh, really hope that it doesn't get snagged on my clothes as I'm doing this. It's kind of burning my hand, but it's worth it for the video, right? And now, I have a roll that I just pop the dowel rod out of. And now I have two small rolls of Velcro of slightly differing sizes because of my poor measuring. But either way, there we go. That's um, cutting and rolling two thin strips of Velcro out of one big strip.